Good morning and welcome to 11 Seas of Hills here on Creative Crafting World TV on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today is Wednesday the 3rd of August and you're thinking, why are you telling me it's the 3rd of August? I already know that. It's because this is actually a pre-record because in actual fact, I have just eaten a lot of bacon and a lot of eggs and I'm now currently sitting on a beach with a pina colada. You see, I can see into the future. We're doing very special pre-records just to cover me whilst I'm away sunning myself in sunny Boa Vista. But that doesn't mean that we haven't got some fabulous deals for you today because we have. We've got two different stars of the show. So the first one is the In the Garden collection from the Paper Boutique. Now. I'll talk through all of the goodies that are included in this and I'm also going to tell you that we've got volume 11, nearly forgot what number, volume 11 of the essential nesting dies as well. So I'll give you the prices in a few minutes but as ever I need to do my housekeeping. So I'm going to start off by saying if you do see anything today on the show that you would like to buy, head over to the website. It's www.creativecraftingworld.co.uk. When you get to the website, you'll see there is a little purple tab. Click on that and that's going to bring you to the Creative Crafting World TV page. On there are all the details included today. So you'll be able to just click, add them to your basket. And then once you check out, you can use all your major credit and debit cards, including PayPal. And we also have Klarna as an option as well. But before you do check out, are you a member of our club? If you're not, seriously think about it because if you buy our club membership, which is £10 a year, not only will you get a gift when you join, you'll also get a 10% discount off everything on the website. So immediately you're going to be making savings and also we'll ask you for your date of birth. We'll then send you a £10 voucher on your birthday. So it kind of cancels out that £10 that you're paying. We've also introduced a gem system, so that means that every time you spend, you are going to accrue gems, and then you will climb up the ladder to a diamond level, which will entitle you to 20% discount off all your orders, which is just fabulous, isn't it? So if you're not already a member of the club, do check that out, and you'll be able to see all of those savings that you can make. Now, as well as all of that, you are here on YouTube. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel here, please do just click subscribe and also click that little bell icon as well because what that's actually going to do is then give you a notification on your device every time we go live and also every time we post a video. Now a lot of educational content is being uploaded to our YouTube channel from sample makers and from a lot of the people who work for us here at Creative Crafting World. I'm going to do a couple of demo videos for you as well once I get back from sunning myself in sunny Cape Verde. But of course, don't forget, just have a little look round. You'll see our Lisa's done some videos and so has Jennifer. Um, you'll get an idea of what to do with all the goodies that you can buy here. Right, so the stars of the show, I'm going to start off with In the Garden. And what I'm going to do, as I always do, I'm going to hold this up and then I'm going to smile down the camera so Anch can grab a thumbnail. Yay. Yay! So that means that you've got a nice little thumbnail at the beginning of your video. Now, in the garden, from the paper boutique, today is just £15. Now, you know, paper boutique collections, they're usually £45.96. So today, this is £15. Now, this is three different pads in this collection. So not the normal four, you've got three here. So starting off with your paper kit, then you've also got your embellishment pad and you've got your coloured card. £15 today, but in the club, it's thirteen fifty. As ever, with the paper boutique, we use 8x8 for our main pad. So you've got paper kit pad. 150 GSM for the papers and 300 GSM for your die-cut toppers. 36 sheets, 6 designs, 6 of each. And your toppers, you've got 32 in total, so 4 designs, 4 of each. Starting off with your circles. So those of you who've got your nesting dies or if you've got your paper boutique doily dies sized perfectly to fit, when I say die cut, it means that this 300 GSM card has been printed and then kiss cut. So there's little paper pits, you just pop those out. So you'll see those beautiful designs there, all about in the garden. You've got your lovely tea kettle there with your flowers. You've got that lovely terracotta pot. 
you've got your basket with your flowers and your pile with your sunflowers in the circles and then in the squares your little welly boots with the beautiful tulips the basket with different spring style flowers you've got this gorgeous little trolley which has got loads of flowers and a lovely little hat and then you've also got a floral background as well as extra sentiments just for you for someone special on your birthday and lots and lots of love so just snip those out but you've got four each of these and then moving on to the decorative papers now 36 in total six designs six of each I'm gonna go like that so you can see them all and when you get these home your die cut toppers are always in the back of the pad so don't panic and think well she showed me those first I did but they're at the back of the pad start off with this one the lovely wheelbarrow you've also got those beautiful sunflowers then you've got this is perfect for those people who've got allotments or you love your greenhouse you've got a little garden shed there you've got the apron the little truck you've got a little sign that says garden then the next one these look like little raindrops it's like an elongated polka dot with that beautiful lovely green background and then the next is one of those little racks that you put all your little plant pots on and your planters and your little random plant pots as well this beautiful O'Donnell colour in the background then more of this gorgeous little trolley so imagine you've gone to a really delicious plant fair and you're looking at all these beautiful wares this could be you couldn't it you might well sell your own plants then this is so striking and I'm thinking I know a lot of our husbands and dads and grandfathers do love their gardening and going down to the potting shed this is perfect it's that perfect color so you can make your masculine cards if you want so that is your paper kit I'm going to move that out of the way and bring in the embellishment pad so again eight by eight in size you've got 36 sheets six designs six of each 150 uncoated so that means that if you want to add inks to it you can but let me just draw your attention we've got a clever little bit of wordplay going on here you've got it's party time can you see how time's been spelt I love that then you've also got love grows here so again with that garden theme we've got garden um, themed sentiments then you've also got your relatives so you've got mum wife granddad brother and this script it's almost like someone's got some chalk and drawn it I think it looks fabulous then your first lot of toppers so here you've got your little square toppers these are four by four in size simple lines just to cut down bob it on the front of a card look at this good times ahead you see you've got your herbs there you've got this lovely little pail here with the flowers with love and of course the sunflowers who doesn't love a sunflower then you've got your paper borders so these are perfect for making little borders with for adding little elements for doing uh, little frames with them as well then you've got your paper panels so on your paper panels you'll see you've got this long strip here cut that down bookmark straight away run it through your laminator it'll look fabulous or what you could do is if you've got some thick card mount board or indeed stick a couple of layers of the craft line together you could stick that on there and then just put a glaze over the top of it then you've got your paper panels here you've got extra sentiments it's time to celebrate on your special day especially for you then more of these beautiful toppers you've got that lovely little summer house with the ivy growing over the top you've got that little bucket and you've got the beautiful sunflowers can you see the beautiful watercolor technique that's used with this it's got that gorgeous effect to it you've got imagine that you're in your pot you're in your little little potting shed and you've got this in front of you there's your hat your little tags your little scissors and I have to say those gardening scissors do look very similar to my scissors there they've got a similar shape you've got your little fork there your little tags and your herbs and then of course what's not to love a basket with beautiful flowers in it then your final sheet in this collection is more sentiments happy retirement now I'm thinking this would be ideal for anyone who's coming up for retirement wanting to spend a little bit more time pottering around in the garden and then you've also got your extended family so you've got granddaughter sister-in-law mother-in-law niece stepmom 
So pretty much every relative is covered here. Now, one of the cool things about Paper Boutique is that we buy the license for the commercial license for the artwork. And then we can pass that on to you, the customer, and say that we're more than happy for you to make your finished items and sell them for your own personal profit. Or indeed, if you want to give to charity, then we're happy for you to do that as well. Now, the last element of this collection is the colored card. So here we've moved to A4 in size, 24 sheets, eight colors, you've got three of each and this is on 200 GSM but please look at the front cover to start off with freebie then you've got another freebie there your little elements and on the back so check out your packaging because nothing will go to waste and then what I'm going to do is just give this a little wiggle and we'll have a flick through so this is single-sided beautiful deep colors through the soft pastels you've got that lovely sky blue then that beautiful deep blue, the cream, and then that soft pink, and then back to that lovely luscious red. So you've got three each of these. And this collection in total will cost you £15 today. Of course, if you are a club member, you can make sure that you get your 10% discount. That will work out at £13.50. Now, whilst I'm still showing you the stars of the show, let me also bring in this beauty. This is the Nesting Dyes Volume 11. Normally $39.99 for this set. Today it's $19.99. So of course if you are in the club, that's just £18. So £18 for all this metal. These are tools. These will last you a lifetime if you look after them. Now what I'm going to do is flip over so you can see the packaging. So your packaging, you'll see you've got the four sizes. So you've got the crenellated and the castellated edges. So here you'll see the special details that you've got. Now, if you've bought any of our previous nesting dies, none of them have got exactly the same edges. So you can mix and match with your previous ones as well. Starting off at 19 and a half centimeters squared is your largest one. That's the absolute perfect size for working on an eight by eight card. Down to your fourth layer there, which is 16 and a half centimeters. So these go down in centimeter increments. Then your nesties are these beautiful elongated octagons. So they're like a lozenge shape of these. Starting off with your 10.7 by 15 centimetres. So perfect for on the front of an 8 by 8 card. It's that beautiful size. Right the way down to your little tiny one that's in the middle. And that one is just 0.7 centimetres by 5 centimetres. But also, because we do like to use all the metal possible, we've made corners for you. So in, in the crenellated design, you've got those two designs so you've got two corners there but you've actually got four because you've got them at either edge and then in the castellated you have got three in total but we've added borders in for you so we've got the crenellated and the castellated edges and you've got three sizes of those borders which works beautifully for any of your creations there we go so this today $19.99, usually $39.99, so that's half price. But take your club discount off as well, it's gonna work out at £18, which is a proper bargain. Okay, also on the show today, we have got your usual suspects. So let me just quickly talk you through. We've got Linda's Black Card, which is a legend in its own lifetime. Here we've got two, uh, 200 GSM, 100 sheets, normally 17.99 for this beautiful black card today is just 10 pounds now this is black on the front black on the back and black through to the core perfect for die cutting because you don't get any fluffy edges also if you like stamping and then maybe taking a metallic watercolor in there or adding any of your little pixie powders or your cosmic shimmers on there looks glorious because it doesn't leach any of the black ink out of it so it stays true to color also Stamp, white embossing powder, metallic embossing powder, it looks fabulous. So just £10 today for 100 sheets, 200 GSM black card. Uh, my bi-weekly workout is actually a quarter weekly workout. Quart, four, four, four times. I'm not even going to try because I'm actually doing some normal shows and some pre-records today. So 
this is Linda's white card beautiful bright white 250 GSM now we call this the brick and that is why because you're getting a lot of card for your money normally this would cost you £24.99 today it is just £15 and it's 250 GSM and you hear me say it all the time this is my go-to white card I don't entertain any other kind of black card than Linda's black card and this is the white card that I always go for so grab yourself a nice little bargain today that's £15 as well as those two staples we have also got your craft line card now your craft lion card is normally 7 99 and today is just five pounds it is 280 gsm and you've got 50 sheets now if you wanted to you could die cut three or four of these and stick them together you've got your own little chipboard remember what i was saying about that bookmark that's exactly what you can do you can just cut it down it makes it nice and sturdy so that's your craft lion card and then finally we have got your woodstock so your woodstock is carbon balanced which i know all of us are getting really concerned about the amount of paper that we are using what's happening to the trees when with it being carbon balanced it gives you that it's almost like a peace of mind that you're not just take 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 from the planet so woodstock 45 sheets, 225 GSM. You've got 15 colours, three of each. We'll give it a little flick through, and I'm thinking that this would look absolutely gorgeous with this in the garden collection. So you've got your neutrals, you've got your brights, look at that lime green, and you've got your pink, and your turquoise, your red, orange. More beautiful neutrals through that gorgeous pink. I love that one so much and the yellow so that is your woodstock now normally 12.99 for woodstock today it is just seven pounds and 79 pence also while you're on the website on the page having a look at all the goodies you'll see that we've got cards and envelopes in packs that are also on a special offer so if you're needing to stock up on those then now would be the time so I'm thinking I'm just going to dive straight in and do a little demo so I've got some stuff already prepared and I don't even know what this one is because I did prepare it quite a while ago. Oh, it's this one. It's in the garden, obviously. But I've got loads of layers now. We've got a six by six card. And what I've done is I've taken one of those toppers from the embellishment pad and just cut that down then I've taken a second one and I've started to cut it out I've got some of the lovely coloured cardstock in these beautiful pinks and greens and I have also got some of that lovely decorative paper there so we'll start to stick this together just by using a little smidge of tape on the back now if you prefer to use the wet glue when you're sticking things down then the quality of this paper and the cardstock means you can because it doesn't wrinkle or bubble so if, you, if that's your preference I'm sure you will have seen Linda demonstrating she always likes to use a wet glue and everything just sticks perfectly but I'm a tapey girl I do like my tape and as ever just a tiny little bit I frequently get asked how's you know when you just put that little bit of tape into the corners do you then go in and add more when you're making a normal card no this is how much i use because if i stick it down one key i can pick it up again and that's all you need years and years ago you used to have to cover everything with the tape because it wasn't that good but tape technologies come on leaps and bounds so don't waste it that's what i say use as little as possible okay so 14 and a half centimeters squared 13 and a half centimeters squared then 12 and a half centimetre squared are the sizes that we've got there. And then I've got my topper and I've also cut a couple of mats for that to sit on. So let's just get this stuck like so. And what I've done, if you remember, I showed you those extra sentiments we've got on the die cut toppers. What I've done is just snipped one down and I'm just gonna hold that in place with a little bit of tape, then a bit of tape over the top. Or you could add a little bit of glue in there if you want to. And then I've transposed the way that I've done the mats because, let me just come here you, it's gonna wiggle. There he goes, sticking down straight. I've gone pink green, this one I've gone green pink, just to make it look a little bit different. And you can do that it's totally up to you if you want to go green pink pink green it's 
your choice. It's whatever floats your boat. So now I'm going to stick this one down flat. Look how quickly this card is coming together. I know I've already done my cutting out and everything, but it doesn't take that long to be making beautiful cards. Now, I could leave it like that. Maybe it's add a little bit of glitter or maybe some glossy accents on there. Look at the watering can. Anch, could you zoom in a little bit, please, lovely? Because I want to show you the detailing on this. What Look, you can see it's one of those galvanised watering cans. It's starting to get just a little bit of rust coming through and that's the detailing that you're getting on this artwork it's absolutely beautiful but instead of keeping this flat I've actually gone in and taken a second one of these because don't forget you're getting six of them okay so the other little bit that I've, I've cut that out already so we've got this bit here so the thing to remember is when you're doing cutting out is turn your paper as you're opening and closing your scissors like that because it's easier to manoeuvre. So I'm not going to bother with the leaves. I'm going to keep this quite simple and just cut around. And this is called decoupage. So each time you go in with a layer, you can actually remove something from the first layer. So you can see it gets less and less and it gives you that proper feeling of depth. So you see, if you move your paper, it's so much easier to cut out. So we'll snip off any excess bits that you don't want. And then around the top of this lovely watering can, remember what I was saying earlier about that patina. Look how beautiful that is. It is glorious. Right, we'll come down here and then a little snip. Now, we've got this little bit in the middle, haven't we? And you can leave that on there if you want, because when you stick it down, it's not actually going to show so much because it matches. However, I quite like it to make it look like here's one I've already done, like that with the hole in it. And this is really easy. So get your poker tool and then just poke a hole through. Careful that you don't prick your finger and then go in and snip. So this is where having a pair of scissors that snip right to the tip comes in really handy because you can literally just go around and then you've got room for your scissors to snip. And then again here, and we'll just bring that around until you meet up with what you've cut, then you've got that shape, and look how cool is that? So you've got that little hole in there. So now all I need to do is add some 3D foam to the back of this. So just a couple of little bits there and there. Of course, if you want to, you could use glue gel because that gives you a proper dome shape. So that can go like that and we'll stick that one down. And then I've got these glorious flowers as well from the top corner. Just give them a little pinch like that. There we go. And I've got some 3D foam here, which I've already cut out so we'll just add that one in there and then we'll bob that one there like that and there we've got a beautiful card with love and this is the in the garden collection just to give you a little reminder um today is just 15 pounds for your three pads you have got the embellishment pad the paper kit which has got your die cut toppers and you've also got your coloured card collection. So as well as the beautiful in the garden collection, I have also got this for you today. So this is the Nesting Dies Volume 11. So let me show you this. So you've got the four square dies there which fit perfectly for your mats and layers onto an 8x8 card. Also, cut them out and score down the middle, you've got like a DL card, cut out two, score the back one, you've got a near enough 8x8 card, 8x8 envelope would work perfectly. This one is slightly larger than a 6x6, so you'd need a little bit bigger envelope, but can you see you could be making your own cards. Then, of course, you've got your elongated octagons. So here you've got them in graduating sizes all the way down to this tiny little wee one here. And I've cut out the largest one so you can see the size of it. So that's how big the largest one is. 
and that's a real proper good size six inches across here and then this way is 4.2 and of course you could have it that orientation or that orientation these would be perfect for people who like playing with fabric like what I do because you can cut fabric with these and not just for cutting out card you've also got your corners and you've got your borders that have got those three layers and what I want to show you is I've die cut one of the borders for you and this is a firm favourite of mine that's just one of the layers but that's the one that goes in the middle and you can start to build it up can you see how that works perfectly I love that that at Christmas with some fancy twine threaded through would look beautiful wouldn't it and also I think that would be a great belt so if you're making like a body shape like a Father Christmas shape that could be a Father Christmas belt couldn't it there we just fold that under and then you could use a smaller one for the head and then some boots of course so that is your nesting dies volume 11 today just 19.99 normally they're 39.99 and in the club it's going to work out at just 18 pounds folks which is such a cool deal now i've got one more demo for you before i disappear off to refresh my glass of pina colada and this is again using that gorgeous in the garden so again another one of my lovely six by six card blanks these are available on the website so don't forget to have a little look see at those and I've cut everything down ready for sizing but I've also done a little bit of distressing so this is one of the die cut toppers so 300 GSM nice and sturdy I've got my edge distresser and you literally just scruff up the edge so this gives that lovely vintage shabby effect to any of your creations and I've taken a second one and gone in and cut out the florals so what I'm going to do now is just stick everything together love this yellow it's like a golden yellow and again as ever just a little bit of tape into the corner and then stick that down so the measurement for this one is 14 and a half centimeters squared and the next layer down is going to be 14 centimeters squared so I've picked up the blue in the solid coloured card which works beautifully with that lovely stripe on the top of there can you see how these are made to match that's the cool thing about paper boutique everything is designed to go together so that means that you don't have to worry about colours matching and working now some of that designer paper there with the wheelbarrow with that beautiful bouquet of sunflowers and then some stripes because we've got stripes going that way on the topper this is that beautiful stripey paper that I showed you earlier when I did that little preview I absolutely love it and it means that I can get my stripes going one way and then stripes going another way so it just looks so cool so we'll stick that one down I've just made a little border just to add that little hint of something into the center of my card so now I've got the same layers as before but because that's yellow now if I'd done the outer layer yellow it wouldn't stand out as much there on that piece of paper so I've just transposed them and we'll stick that one down and then I've got my toppers so here's that lovely eight and a half centimeter square topper which is the die cut and one of those little sentiments for someone special I'll just run a little bit of tape along there just to save a bit of time and I want that around about there to go there and then I can stick that one onto the next layer up so the size that I've cut this one is nine centimeters squared so we can stick that one down and then I'll just go in add that little bit of tape again to the blue one and again I've used a darker colour in the background just so that stands out a little bit from that yellow paper that's going to fit into the centre like that and then of course I've got this delightful floral abundance with that beautiful sunflower is really showing off sunflowers are such gorgeous flowers aren't they and then just 
a little wee bit of 3D foam into the middle to add some depth. And then I'm going to give this a wiggle round and make sure I've got it in the right place. But remember what I was saying about the decoupage. By not adding these bits to the cutout, it means that it gives it that feeling of depth. If I hold that to one side, you can actually see how different that looks. And that's how simple it is to make beautiful cards using these lovely collections. And this is the In the Garden collection from the Paper Boutique. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there because the sun's shining. I need to put some more sun cream on. And I will be back on the 5th, which is Friday, I do believe. Um, with some more goodies for you but it, as I said earlier if you do want to place an order then hop on over to the website it's creativecraftingworld.co.uk once you're there you're going to see a little tab click on that and then everything that's on the show will be there for you so I'm going to love you and leave you and say thank you for joining me and I will see you on Friday